I have literally been working on this project for weeks on end. But now our biggest project ever, a super massive nuclear power plant is complete. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time we got the spice and we're now producing 31.5 nuclear fuel rods per minute. Meaning we are in the last stage of our nuclear project. And all we have to do now is build all of the power plants. And all you have to do now is remember to leave a like and subscribe. So here's the plan with nuclear. We're going to be building all of the nuclear reactors behind our base here. So this entire desert is gonna be completely filled with reactors. You see desert? No, 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 no. All gonna be reactors. And then all of the water is gonna come from right over there. From the water. <laughs> and with the 31.5 nuclear fuel rods per minute, we can make 157.5 nuclear power plants that will produce a whopping 787 nuclear waste per minute. <laughs> oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? Yes, this is a very big project, TLDR, but I've been preparing both mentally and in game. But while we're working on the rest of the nuclear stuff, every time I came back to base, I made sure our temporary supercomputer production was stocked up with materials. So we be making supercomputers for a very, very, very long time. And I even left my game running at points. So now, we have all the supercomputers that we should need for this project. Hopefully. Because 150 nuclear power plants is a big ask. Huge ask, you could say. So let's see. We need 150, pretty much eight. One on 50%. Oh, so that's 790 supercomputers. Okay. I may have gone a little overkill here with this. That's okay, better overkill than underkill. And then the other stuff is all prepared already. 23,000 concrete? What? I didn't, okay, maybe I should have done this at the beginning of the project and started storing up concrete. That is wild, but at least we have all the hard stuff kind of dealt with. And with concrete, we are making an absurd amount. Like we're using a pure node and we have like, what is this, 20 constructors making concrete? And we're gonna use this for some other project, but we kind of just had it go to the storage room. But now, we'll just kick this into high gear. We'll put down like a billion more of these. By a billion, I mean like as many as we can fit. And then all the concrete we store up here will just go to our storage room. And I went ahead and upgraded the entire concrete line to 780 belts because when we need it, we're gonna need it, brother. So we should be good now. All right, but that is pretty much the whole plan. With the actual nuclear material, it will be going on a train that goes over this way. So it goes to the edge of the desert, way over there, and then the whole party will get started from that direction. That way the nuclear material is away from our hub and away from where we're generally at, since we never really go over to the water. Yeah, the water and all the nuclear stuff will come in from over there, and that's where the party gets started. So, I've put down our initial platform here, and this is going to extend out to infinity and beyond. This is where all of our nuclear reactors will be. So, like I was saying, the nuclear train with the fuel rods will come over this way. There's water right there. So, we'll have some sort of, like, loading platform that will be right here. This platform will be our nuclear design. So, how we're actually going to build and scale our nuclear power plants. So, let's check them out. What are we dealing with, sir? Do, 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 do. It's in power. There we go. Oh, it's a thick boy. Oh my, I can't, I totally forgot how big these things were. Oh my lord. It's beautiful though. Beautiful. 
That animation was super weird, probably because my game's exploding, but what's going on here? Anything new? Dun, 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 fuel, waste, oh, fun. 2,500 megawatts, delicious. And water. <laughs> 300 water per minute. Do you know what that means? That means we need 2.5 water extractors per nuclear power plant. Oh man, the piping. The piping is gonna be absurd. Absolutely absurd, but building this shouldn't be too bad. I was thinking about this, right? And we need about 158. And I was thinking if we round that up to 160, that means we could make eight groups of 20, I think. Yeah, yeah, eight groups of 20. So let's position this a little bit better. I'm gonna try building this out a little bit more. And we're gonna kind of see what that scale looks like. Right on, so your boy Kibbs has been a busy, busy lad, and we got some setups moving and grooving here. So first up, I was like, yo, let's try make a group of 20 going in this vertical direction. And I was like, wait a second, no negative Ghost Rider, because we want all the stuff coming from over here and going this way. So I was like, yo, we gotta have it in the horizontal direction. Way better, way, 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 way better. So that's how we're gonna be doing things. We'll have groups of 20, so kind of right about there is where it all stops and starts over here. So this is one group of 20, which is insane. Which more insane, again, is the amount of freaking pipes. The amount of pipes is going to be un- Fathomable. I don't even know how I'm gonna bring them in exactly probably back here, but Since we have the 20 here. That means we need 20 pipes of water coming through so that is That many pipes just for one of the eight sections. So like once everything's like grouped together. Oh ah! <laughs> Don't freak out yet. We haven't even started really Yeah, there's gonna be a billion 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 pipes and then we'll all go through here and we'll probably have one main, like, super pipe lane somewhere in the middle of this whole setup. Maybe about, like, here or so. I'm not 100% sure. I just wanted to get one setup kind of going, and then we see what we do. Also, we have to figure out how to do all of the belt work here. So again, everything's coming from that direction. And we're just gonna overflow the nuclear fuel rods in here. So when the nuclear fuel rods leave the train, we will do some load balancing at the train station we build over here. And with that, we'll divide the main line into eight equal lines for the fuel rods. Yes. And then once the fuel rods get to here, they start to overflow. Cool? Cool. So, fuel rods go in. No, wait, that's the. That's where things leave. Oh, yeah, the nuclear waste. Uh, we'll figure out what to do with that later. Overflow wise, it's gonna be a bit weird because what I want to do is I want to have these pipes going over top of all of the splitters and mergers here. So I'm trying to figure out how to get them onto one line. Oh, and you know what? This could be could be simple. This way we'll have a lot of room off to the sides here. So the pipes will be coming off and they'll just be doing what they do. Crazy pipe nonsense. But they'll be up high because the water input is so high up. So that means we could drag this line out. Doodly do. Have it go to about here. Yeah, it just goes up a tiny smidge. And then just go straight this way. Okay, okay, and then oh ho 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 ho. This is gonna work out perfectly because now we just put a merger over here. And that's where we're gonna hide all of the nuclear waste. So does this fit? Does that work? You better believe it. Nice, and this will become the nuclear waste output line. Cool, and yeah, the pipes go over top of this, right? No clipping, no nonsense. Uh, well, kind of actually, never mind. Doot, 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 because if this is the first one, we already have a problem there. It'd have to be too high. Hmm. Oh, but look at how perfect it is if it is too high. All right, well, that kind of solves all of our problems if we do this, so all of you, goodbye. And this stack is just gonna get a little bit taller. There we go, and now this whole design will end up working out. And then by the end of it, 
we're gonna have a nice big ol' space here, about the size of one reactor. And this will lead into the main quote-unquote bus for the nuclear stuff. So all the pipes will be in the middle here, and we'll have our main nuclear waste line. Which it needs to be about... It should be two 780 lines, but we're just gonna do one. <laughs> and everything should work out fine. Alrighty then. Well, that's the plan. Time to uh, belt up our first section and see how things go. Well, that only took like 90 years, but our first set of 20 is complete. We did it. So all the pipes just go flooding through the middle, and every so often they cut out, go over to their reactors, and off they scoot, just like the first little bit of the design went. And yeah, at the end of the line, there's nothing left except for the nuclear waste which will end up going onto this line, which will then go over this way to the center of this whole area and off to somewhere else. <laughs> we have to figure that out too later, because as you can see, we have a big thing to deal with, and that is all the water we need for this project. So these each represent each of the eight sections and all the water they need. So this one over here will go off to that group of reactors, this one to this group, etc, etc, etc. And each of these little pipeline supports represents the three... Uh, the three water extractors. So 157.5 times 3 is 472.5. That's how many water extractors we gotta build over here. Yep, it's gonna be big. The biggest project ever, brother? Probably. And so, to maintain my sanity, I'll start building the water extractors over here, and then every so often, once I get completely sick of that, I'll move on to this project and make another 20 reactors set up over here. So yeah, if I bounce back and forth between the two things, I probably won't lose my mind. <laughs> I totally will lose my mind, but hopefully I'll come a little later. But we gotta do something kind of weird first here. We gotta figure out the world's build limit. Because as you can see, the water kind of just, just like cuts off at some point. So I don't know exactly where we can build our water extractors out to. So number one, I'm gonna be finding that out. So I'm just gonna build this right to the edge. Well, to the edge of the biome. And then this is gonna be about eight tiles over this way as well. All the pipes will end up going up here, of course. And now we gotta build down. All right, but now that we're on the waves, brother, let's go and see how far we can go. Okay, so we're pretty far out now. And also, is this water real? I know on the other side of the world, once you go out far enough, the water becomes like fake. I don't know, but this water is real. Is, is there a point at which the water does become fake? Not looking like we're anywhere close if that's the case, so okay, we continue. Oh, wait, and I think we found the edge. Eh? <laughs> That's interesting. Water? No water. Am I Moses? Did I drain the sea? That's pretty rad. Wait, can we put water extractors down here? No, because, okay, so that's where it's not real. So, read about here. There's the line where the water is real and not real. So, technically speaking, if we just jump off at about this point, we'll just fall into forever. Isn't that cool? Okay, dokie. And then, oh no, 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 please tell me the water continues this way and is okay. Please, dude. Should be. It's just if it's not, this project is gonna be about six times more pain in the butt than it already is. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Looks like we're good. In fact, we're really good. Even over here, it's fine. So there's some kind of like weird line going on like a diagonal or something? I think I can just see it right there. I think that's literally it right there. We're looking at it. Wait, so if I just go a little bit further. Oh no. Is this it? Like guys, can you see the line? Or am I going crazy? I'm probably going crazy. But if we go out like one more tile, maybe two, the water disappears. Ah yes, it seems I'm going insane. Fantastic! <laughs> we haven't even started building the extractors yet. 
Oh boy. And will this surface area work for 500 water extractors? Eh, you know what? I think it will. Let's just YOLO it. Oh. Oh, but that's interesting. When I go over this way, it's gone. What? That is super, super, super weird. So that's, oh. Oh, we're right on the edge, brother. So it's real here, not real there. Oh, this, dude, okay, this map is like cut up really, really, really strangely. I think then just to play it safe, we're not gonna build in this direction, we're just gonna build out in this direction, and then maybe we'll be okay. If we need like an extra, I don't know, 200 water extractors, we'll try the other direction and see how it goes, but for now, this will be fine. And I got a pretty decent plan for how to go about this. So every stack of water pipes up there needs 20 pipes, right? So that means we need 60 water extractors, okay? So if we just build in like stacks of 60, we're gonna be good. And also it gives me a pattern to kind of work with. So I can jump between doing sets of 20 nuclear plants and then sets of 60 water extractors. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Ooh, but things are not gonna go as smoothly as I thought. So this here, that's 10. That's 10. Okay. So we could probably, oh my God, we can only probably get like 120 water extractors in this space. Oh dude, we're going down the line, brother. We're gonna have to build so many. <laughs> They're so big. They're bigger than like the, are they bigger than the refineries? Oh, surface wise, yeah, they're not as tall, but surface space is even worse in this situation. Oh boy. So then I'll just fill in this entire area and see how many water extractors we fit in here and then use this as kind of our basis for working on the rest of the project. Yep, mind is being lost here, but <laughs> we have completed the first group of water extractors. So in this space, we have built 144, 144 water extractors here. That is 30% of what we need. So we need three times this and a little more. And this was just setting up like the basics here. Like this is just, <laughs> this is just like connecting the right ones together. This isn't even like stacking things up. It's not even bringing things over there. That's just building the extractors themselves. I found a really like nice way to do it though. Where it's like I do sets of nine, so it's like six pipes per section. And like, it's, it's efficient to do. Oh my gosh, autosave, dude. Please. Ah, it's just an unbelievable amount. Oh my gosh, and also the power this is gonna use. Dude, I didn't even consider that. So, a lot of these will be on like 50%. Like so. So I think there are three, six, nine, 18. Minus three, so there's about 15 of these running at 100%. Each of them will use 20 megawatts. So 15 times 20, 300 megawatts per line here. We have about eight lines right now. So it's 2,400 megawatts. You know what? Yeah, that'll be okay. Because I was just thinking of like power overall in the whole world here and like maybe you wouldn't have enough, but all in, it's kind of gonna be this 2,400. This is 30% of the water extractors we need. So, how do I math this? Okay, there's a there's an equation I could do to like figure this out, but pretty much that times three plus probably another like thousand megawatts. So all in, we'll probably use about 8,000-ish megawatts here. And that's just on the water extractors. And can our grid handle another 8,000 megawatts? You better believe it. Yeah, even with this entire factory on full power, I think we're only using like 26,000. So that'd be 34. Yeah, we're getting close to the brownout range of our system, but generally speaking, we should be okay. Oh my gosh, you know what's amazing? We thought we were gonna be doing supercomputers before nuclear. Oh, what a crazy idea. Crazy idea. I never, like, I never considered how much power making nuclear power would take. Oh, dude. I wonder what our I wonder what our net amounts will be. Like power produced to power spent to make. I don't know. Stuff to figure out later. For now, I'm gonna be bouncing between making these systems and making these systems. 
And then after that, we'll figure out how to put everything together. But yeah, this is gonna probably take me weeks? Probably weeks, yeah, probably weeks. So see you in a bit. I remember weeks ago when I said, oh, it'd just be a couple weeks to finish. Just a few weeks, so it'd be fine. And I was like, yeah, I can just do, you know, eight hour days here and there, working on the project, it'd be fine, I said. Remember that, past kids? Remember that? Remember when I said that? Oh, I was so naive. So naive. Only like 400 nuclear power plants. Only like 500 water extractors. Only. Only that. Ugh. Well, it's done now. And I can tell you this, and I swear to God. Future kids, don't ever make a project bigger than this. I swear. Because this is the definitive biggest project yet. I, like, I can't even put words to describe how insane this nuclear power plant is. I can't, I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. It's been so long. I can't believe I'm recording this. Like, I have just been head to the grindstone or whatever you say. Just working on this non-stop for weeks. And here we are. I can finally show it off. Just an FYI, the game is like a billion times more laggy now. Like, we've doubled the item count in the world, I'm pretty sure. It, that's hardly an exaggeration, too. It, <laughs> I've lost, if I hadn't lost it before, I've lost it now. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> I really have lost it, oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> It's all done. It's all done. We have all the nuclear power plants set up. We have all the pipes set up, all of the water extractors, and it's just, there's some crazy technical challenges with it that I never imagined. And it's just, uh, I should have seen them coming, but I just, I don't know what I was thinking. Hindsight was 2020, but it's, it's already too deep. It's too deep into things. Anyway, this has been my home for the last couple weeks. I've been here more than I have outside my apartment. Like, I've lived here. This is my comfy corner, full of all my things and all my stuff that I can clean up. <laughs> that I can finally clean up. Well, that is if this whole thing works. Anyway, welcome to Pipe. Mageddon. Behold, what I've been working on for several weeks. Our ultimate nuclear power plant. Eight sets of 20 nuclear power plants, each of which requiring 300 water per minute. Which meant every power plant needed a full pipe of water. So for weeks, this is what I've mainly been doing, setting up this absolutely horrendously large pipe network. And just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with a yellow pipe. Back and forth for days, weeks, and all the restock trips to get even more. Oh my god. It has been an ordeal. And it gets even more insane, because each of these pipes had to be full. So each of these pipes needs three water extractors, brother. Meaning we had to do like <laughs> a billion water extractors. <laughs> I, can't, I lost count. And now the entire ocean is full of them. 100,000 quadrillion water extractors. And the logistics behind them was, <laughs> this was the thing I, I just didn't see coming. Well, I don't know why. Because up here, we made groups of 20 pipes, right? Well, all the water extractors are all the way down there. So how do you bring the water up? Obviously with pumps, right? But <laughs> it was a bit more of a puzzle when they're this stacked up. Luckily, through some horrific weaving, 
managed to get it all together, and we have all of the pipes going on up. I calculated this area alone with the water extractors and the pumps is going to use around 8,000 to 10,000 megawatts of power. Yeah, absolutely insane. Incredibly insane. And just running through all of these pumps, trying to make them perfectly even, jumping from floor to floor. The amount of scaffolding it took just to... <laughs> the amount of scaffolding I had to build and tear down. <laughs> that was a day in itself. <laughs> it's, it's truly remarkable. And I won't lie, it was actually quite fun too, just trying to figure out how to configure the pipes in a way so everything fit together properly in this like nice like super pipeline here. That was kind of fun. But man, I, I listen to every podcast in my watch later on YouTube, like every Joe Rogan podcast now, I've listened to it. Every Mad Fiendist economics podcast, I know it. And same with the Ford Anything. Like, those three channels, I've, I feel like I've watched half their content and I felt like I've taken like an economics course while doing this project. Man, it's just more amazing that it's actually done. I, 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 it's just been so long. It's unbelievable. It's felt like it's been two years. Ah, only bad thing is we didn't cover the entire desert with nuclear reactors, which, you know what, good and bad because now we can fill this whole area with nuclear waste. <laughs> but we'll be getting into that a little bit later. For now, all the nuclear waste is just going to not be in there, and we'll figure out what to do with it, probably in, in the next episode. I just have to get this thing running, because I don't know if it does. It, there could be one pipe missing, there could be one pump unpowered, and the whole thing's just not gonna work, and then I have to go Oh my god, I have to do another probably 16 hours of troubleshooting. I'm- I'm losing my mind! Okay, okay, it's done. This is a celebration. Smile. Leave a like. Smile. Let's- let's try it out. Maybe everything is working, you know? Who knows? Uh, oh yes, and the train that brings over the nuclear fuel rods. I almost forgot. So over here near our comfy hub, we have the train station, amply named Death because that's what this project was. And this train goes off to our nuclear fuel rod facility. So it has its own special rail that is disconnected from the main track, for a bit anyway. That goes all the way over to, doodly 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 do, uh, right over here. So do 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 do, goes down this way. It cuts in and uses our main rail system actually, because after working on this project, I was like, I'm using this rail, I don't even care. We'll probably die a couple times now using our train system, but <laughs> I just wanted this done. Anyway, so the train then comes up this hill and goes over this way, using the same track that brings items in. And I just parked a little train station right on beside here. And I'll be honest, the whole thing looks like a giant garbled mess. So, what's going on here is like the track splits up back over there, then heads down this way, and then goes over to here, and on the way back it just merges back with the main line there, and off it goes. So it, it's, it's pretty weird, it's a little scuffed, but initially the plan was to have this entire train track like separate and going that way, but bruh. The, this, this terrain A is just a mess, and B, we already have the stuff set up, so I was like, yeah. We're just gonna have it here. Only other thing to do is to hook up the nuclear fuel rods to the train station itself. And then we just rock and roll. And it's looking like that entire bin is filled <laughs> to the brim with nuclear fuel rods. Very nice. Did I bring my radiation suit? You better believe I didn't. Nice job, me. <laughs> But before we bring over the radioactive good stuff, we just need to test out one more thing. And that is that the whole pump system works. So, once we connect the power from A to B, that power is on this whole thing. And just in case my estimates were off with the power consumption of the water extractors, I've disconnected the crystal oscillator manufacturing. It saves us about 12,000 megawatts, or about at 31,000 megawatt consumption. Yeah, just just in case, because if we had a power outage, <laughs> I wouldn't. I, mm, 
Let's not even consider that possibility. Let's just connect this bad boy up. Let's watch it fly. That should be turning all of these on. All of the pumps should be uh, bumping. Why do I see red lights? I should be seeing green lights. What's going on? Hey, buddy. We got, uh, got any of that power? We do. Already a cool 22,000 I saw. Very cool. Powered. Nice to see. Water extractors coming online. Off to my precious perch. I love this place. This is my favorite place. And how's it all looking? Oh, it's going. Is it? Oh my god, I didn't bring the power down all the way there. <laughs> uh, always something, right? Alright, there we go. Now the power is actually online. Oh man, oh man. Is it right? Oh my god. Yep, it's all on. It's just a visual glitch where it shows it's not. It's always lies. It's all good. Power is moving, power is grooving to just about everywhere. Looks like I missed a couple. Nope. Everything's lies, everything's slander. We're running here, right? You better believe it. We might need a couple more pumps here and there, because, you know, this is going straight up and everything. But for the most part, oof. We're looking all right. Oh my god, my fuel. Yeah, we're looking all right. We're looking all right. I can't believe it. It's running. And how's this looking? The water's getting all the way up. Good. We only really need to check one of these, and if it works, we're good to go. Ah, but I didn't connect the power through everything. Very nice. We will just do a little bit of this. A little bit of that. And the other thing. I am so scared. I need to be checking on how much power this is using. Nope, nope, don't worry about it right now, Kibbs. Don't worry about it, just hook it online. You'll just hear that wonderful power outage noise if there's a problem. <laughs> just wait and see. This is the fun part. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Uh, <laughs> Let's check. We should be okay. Again, my estimate was around 10,000 megawatts on the high end. Okay, we're at 19,000, so that's like a 29. And, oh, it's at 11,000 megawatts usage. Right, okay, so a little, little overestimate on the power. That's fine. So long as the pumps keep working. And it's looking like they're good. I was pretty careful to space these out properly. Right, no head lift problem? No head lift at all, all right, sounds good, man. What about over here? Oh yeah, dude, we're super fine. Flow rate of nothing, nice. Why is there no flow rate? I guess some of the pipes are still filling up. And maybe I have to add in more pumps down below. Why? Oh, I okay, this is actually fine. Uh, the problem is this is just uh, too high. I didn't, I, <laughs> I didn't measure this part out. So from the pumps there to the top there, that's too high. Okay, you know, that, that's fine. That's reasonable. It's not too bad. Uh, down here and like through this main tower is kind of like the main thing. Yeah, this is what I expected to see. It's about 16 meters head lift. Okay. So all those pumps are good. Down here should be the same. Yeah, I was very redundant with these things. Like, I was not going to have this mess up. Uh, I just, <laughs> I just didn't see the top part coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little, a little close there. Are we looking down here? Oh, oh boy. I love to suffer. <laughs> Why? I'm perfect there. Yeah, this is what, what I, I'm saying. Like, we have to do so much just review. For the most part though, there's only one main thing that has to be fixed and that's at the top. I'll have to review the other pipes and see if they're actually working properly. Maybe the pumps aren't displaying information correctly or <laughs> Maybe I don't bother fixing anything, because if you guys heard, there's a big fluid update coming soon, and well, that's gonna be changing everything, so who knows? Entire deck of cards just flipped. Whole tables flipped. <laughs> we might have to redo the whole setup. Oh boy. 
<laughs> no, I, I don't think so. I'll talk more about the new fluid update in the next video. I don't want to get into it right now. Okay. Well, with the water coming in and our power grid still alive, I think we can start bringing in the nuclear spice here, eh? I think so. I'll grab my hazmat suit, check the power one more time. Yeah, we're looking fine. Yeah, let's bring over the fuel rods. Let's get the party started, brother. It's happening. It's finally happening. And that one little chew has more power in it than our entire world. Just with that one freight cart has behind. So hopefully I didn't screw things up. Load balancing wise is pretty straightforward. It's like one line to eight lines. And that was all fine, just splitting in two and two and two. And then we should be fine because we're up in space here on a radar tower way above everything. So we shouldn't get irradiated yet. Alrighty. I can't wait. I've been waiting weeks for this. This will get unloaded. Our power plants will turn on and we can finally see all of our power start going up. And we can activate the rest of our factory again and not have to worry about power outages ever again. Bruh, it's gonna be the best. But here come the nuclear fuel rods. Oh, dispersing oh so nicely. And that very bright glare. And luckily we're not dying at this height. Good, good. We're not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. And we should start seeing these activate pretty much immediately. Looks like the water isn't working on all of the pipes, but for most of them it's fine. So, do it. Oh, there they are. I see you. I see you, brother. Go. Go. Do it. Do it. They're doing it. First reactor is online. There's another one. And now all the rest across the land. I don't know why these water pipes aren't working though. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out. Oh man, but each of those little smokestacks is 2,500 megawatts of power, dude. That's strong. The big strong. Let's see where we're at right now. Ooh, where do we go to check this? Our little house. Nope, everything's radioactive. Well, I have my suit. We'll be fine. And if we get a little tickled, whatever, dude. What's going on? Do 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 <laughs> You know, already at 67,000 megawatts. No big deal, no big deal. And we're all worried about 40. <laughs> I remember when we were peasants. All right, let's check on the actual systems themselves though. Put on our Sudorino. See what's going on over here. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Oh yeah, they're all still loading up. But yeah, this is how every system looks. Just pipes for days and then randomly one of the water pipes poops out. And off it goes. 84,000 megawatts. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Where are we at? No power. What? Is there, oh, there's no fuel rod in here. Oh, there's no water in here! Why? Okay, a bunch of pipes to check on. Please. After this first bout though, I wanna see us at 100,000 megawatts. Oh, we're doing it. 94. 97. Like two more. Come on, brother. Some of the pipes must work. <gasps> Our first nuclear waste. That's legitimately gonna be a problem. We're gonna get like 780 per minute or something like that. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. They're shutting down. Oh no. How bad is this water pro? What? How bad is this water problem here? No. No! Is everything that broken? Oh, it looks so cool though. Oh, 99! 99.5! Come on, that's a rounding error away from 100,000. Let's go! 100,000 megawatts of power. Uh, even with all the problems. <laughs> we did it. 
Oh man, we did it. So many more problems to solve though. So all in, we're gonna have an absolute insane amount of power once this is all turned on. So I'm gonna spend the next couple hours here just working on the pipes and getting this thing fully operational. Well, good news. I did about an hour of review and stuff over things and really the big solution was just add a million more pumps down here to pump stuff up. The elevator actually works fine. It's just way down over here. We're having a lot of problems. So just more pumps down there. Now everything is working just fine. And this bad boy is online. Like 100% online. <laughs> Every single nuclear power plant is chugging along. And it's just, just a dream, man. Guess what? Guess how much power we're making? Take a guess in the comments below. How much power are we producing here? So, last time we checked, we just crossed 100,000 megawatts. Wow, already double our power grid. And now, we're at 429 thousand megawatts 9,000 above target unfortunate <laughs> no 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 I didn't plan any of that but yeah no we're at 429,000 megawatts of power 432,000 so we are going to be fine on power for the rest of forever unless we need like some kind of tier 11 machine that requires some kind of quantum Creating a universe in a box type deal. I, I think we're never gonna have to worry about power again. What we do have to worry about, like near immediately though, is the nuclear waste. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> it is a huge problem. So I think I mentioned, but all of these nuclear power plants make about 780 nuclear waste per second. If they're running on 100%, right now they're not running on 100%, thank goodness. But even still, uh, it's not looking too good there, champ. <laughs> the box at the end ain't gonna be lasting too long. All right, let's put on our spice suit. Let's see how bad the damage is so far. In <laughs> just like an hour or two. Oh boy, that's not good. Over a thousand nuclear waste, not good. Hmm. And this, we can't resource sync. We're, we're stuck with this. If you don't know much about the game, when you make nuclear waste, you just have to deal with it. You can't delete it. You can't throw it into there. Nuclear waste cannot be destroyed. Fix it does not waste. You can waste everything else, but not that. And you can't put this into the resource sink. So, yeah. We need a super storage the size of, I, I have no idea, just as, I can't even imagine. We just need some sort of super storage for all this nuclear waste to last us the next 500-ish hours. So that is gonna be the big project for next time. However, today, I think that's gonna be all. So if you enjoyed, please again remember to leave a like, maybe subscribe for all my awesome videos, that would be cool. Hit that notification bell, and I hope to see you in the next one. But for now, have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>